guys, Melissa here from Farmhouse Chic. Thought I would try at a different angle, see if the light was a little better outside today. Um, I went to the retails I was telling you about, thrift store where all the proceeds go to um, help out the animals. Well, I happened to pop in there on Sunday. The store was packed and I asked the lady what was going on and she said it's their sweep clean day. So everything in the store was 50% off. I got fines. All right, first thing, I'm gonna show you my favorite find of all, is this little wind chime. You'll see, and they're actual real pieces. And they just hook on. So I guess you can hang it in your kitchen and really use it. Of course, I'm not gonna use it. That's just a little cup. This is a roller. I completely forgot what it was. This is a pastry cutter. And the thing I guess you put in little spice bowls to mix up your spices, chop them up. But is this not the cutest? It was $6. And it was half price, so I didn't give it $3 for this. Let me know what y'all think. Should I paint it white? There's not a whole lot of brown going on in my kitchen, but I really don't want to mess it up either. So, Tell me what you think. Should I chalk paint it white or leave it brown? But three bucks for that. I thought this would be cute to sit um, on the bathroom counter and maybe hang some towels off of it. This was only a dollar fifty because it was half of three. Definitely gonna probably paint this. And then I found this little craftsman bag that I can keep all my little tools in because I keep hammer and nail and stuff for when I'm decorating, doing stuff around the house. And this was $4, so I got it for two. It's in pretty good shape, too. The zipper works on it. So I thought that was pretty neat. Found this little thing. Not sure what it is. But I also found some... Um, I paid 25 cent for four of these little handkerchiefs. Of course, I've not washed anything up yet. Look at the little detail on them. And the last one. I think this is my favorite. So I thought it would be cute to do something like this. Maybe use them all or maybe just switch them out through the seasons. I don't know. If y'all have any ideas of what I could do with it other than this, let me know. So the handkerchiefs were a quarter for all four of them. Then I found this little thing right here. It was 25 cents because it was regular 50 cents and not sure what you're supposed to do with it but i'm going to chalk paint it and then get some decals from the dollar tree or either decoupage something on here to go with my farmhouse theme found three embroidery hooks excuse me two no three it's three of them They were two dollars, so I got all three of them for a dollar. Thought I'd put some kind of decor in them, some fabric or something. It's a big haul. Found this little box. It was three, so I got it for a dollar fifty. I thought this would be neat to maybe put my mail in. Well, I'm definitely going to chalk paint it because they said it's not a lot of brown wood in my house, so that'll be chalk painted. Found this little basket. And it was 50 cents, so it was a quarter. Can't beat that little basket for a quarter. It's a good little size. This is another unique piece. 
Not sure. It looks like maybe it's made out of corks. It says Creations by Jackie. So it looks like just a, it's on the back of a paint mixer stick. Definitely homemade, but it was $3 and I got it for $1.50. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just thought it looked really neat. But I think those are corks of some kind. It's what they feel like. Still have a lot to go. Found these little wooden spoons. They were a quarter, I'm um, four, excuse me, and spoons. They were a quarter a piece. Found this little country sign. And it's like some type of resin. I don't have anything apple and I don't have anything red in my kitchen really. So I'm probably gonna spray paint this white. But I just thought it was really cute and country. And this was a dollar and got it for 50 cents. The next is some terracotta pots. I like this little basket weave looking pot. It was a dollar, I got it for 50 cent. Then I got this one, which was really neat looking. I've got to get that sticky off. I got it for a quarter. Then found this set. See the aging on it? This was a dollar for both pieces because it was regular two dollars. Then I found this. Not sure what this was, but I just thought it was really neat. It's a little sheet. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It looks like some type of skewer. But I'm just going to stick it into like a basket or something. But this was a quarter. Okay, and moving on, I found three pictures. This one was a regular $1.50. No markings. So I got it for $0.75. Cents. I have a whole picture collection in the house that I will do a video on and show you. And I found this little one. These are like creamer pictures or something. This one was 50 cent. And it said, and then the cutest little picture of all, I thought this would be cute, you could put some toothpicks in it. It doesn't have any writing on the bottom or anything, but I gave a quarter for it. Isn't that a I found this little mug. This is so cute. It's got the little boy, let's see if you can see it. They had four of them, but I only got one. It's kind of like the milk glass look. So usually when the milk glass, I only get one piece, because if not, you can get overwhelming, which I have a whole collection of that too. I'll be doing a video on, but that's not bad for 50 cent. He was cute. And then the last two things that I have in this haul is I'm a spoiled rotten, let's see, a spoiled rotten yellow lab lives here. I pulled the price sticker off of it. It was $2, so I got it for a dollar. Because we have a yellow lab. She's about 14 years old. And she's definitely spoilt rotten. And I found this dog bed. I also have a little terry poo. That's about 15 years old. And I found this, and I gave a dollar for it. Can't beat that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's in mint condition. I put... Um, put a clean one in and take one out to wash it so it's good to always have an extra one. Okay, moving on with my TJ Maxx haul. First thing I bought was this cute little bag. Don't know why, can't resist the cute little bags at Marshall's. They're 99 cent, but that is so cute. With the lady riding the bicycle, it's the same on both sides. It's a pretty good size bag. The first piece I found there, it's just a glass jar, 40 ounce glass jar has a rooster on the front. Paid $2 on clearance for it. Don't know how much it was regular. But paid two bucks for it. And it's nice, it's got the nice sealed lid. Also got a square one. Same company. 
and two dollars. It is made by this is a 54 ounce glass jar. But it does say it has to be hand wash only, so you can't put them in the dishwasher. But they both have roosters on them. Then I found two of these, two of the same. They're just fresh, they just say fresh cuts on the front. They were $1.50 on clearance. Nice little mason jars, good little lids. And then finally, got me another little box wood. Uh, this is actually a eucalyptus wreath, 12 inch eucalyptus wreath. It was $9.99. No, I don't like to pay $9.99 for them. I'd rather get them at Hobby Lobby or get them at Michael's when I can use a coupon. But I wasn't near Michael's and I wasn't near Hobby Lobby. So I needed it to go in the basket if you saw my uh, dining room tour that um, tobacco basket hanging on the wall needed something. So this is what I wanted to put there. So I picked this up and that is all for my haul. I hope you like it. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave in the comment anything you think might be a good idea to do with all this stuff. And as soon as I put it where I'm gonna put it, maybe I'll insert it in this video and show you what I did with some of it. Oh, and look, I forgot one more piece. I found a little piece for my little farm box if you saw my goodwill challenge i'm gonna put it in there it fits in one of the slots perfectly so one by one i'm filling up the little box but i'll show you what i did with all of it all right subscribe thumbs up comment thanks so much